So you might notice if you've been into this subject a lot that most teachers say that nothing is the source of everything. So no thing is the source of everything. Um, so it's even beyond consciousness. So even if you go into non-duality, uh, not non-duality, into Buddhism, they would even say that no, nothing or emptiness is even beyond consciousness. Um, and that is the source, which is true to an extent, but, but then you have to think about what everything's made up of. So everything is made up of that no thing. So we, we kind of think like everything, like nothing is the source as if there is like a source that's below everything that we can't quite see. And that's called nothing. And it creates all of this, but everything that you see is that no thing. So you could also say that everything is the creator because everything is that no thing. So you can't actually find the difference between nothing being the source and everything being the source because they're one and the same thing. You could think of it like the yin and yang sign and the white and the black coming together with the white dot in the black and the black dot in the white. That you, that, that everything that you're experiencing is that no thing, so everything is the source. So what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Some people would say it's nothing because that's the way our mind works and that seems logical. Um, like not a thing found in this world. That seems like it's a logical thing that nothing comes first. But what if the world isn't like that? What if it, like first and second and the beginning and the end is something that we make up in the human world and that reality can't be defined as that and that you can't really have a source? There is simply everything appearing. I can't give you answers actually because in truth I don't know. I just know that this is and that's freedom. Like remembering who you are, which is everything, is freedom. But I can't really get into these really abstract conversations because in the end, I don't know. Like I don't know anything. Like, like even my talks, like knowing seems to come out and there seems to have been studying of this subject. So um, there seems to be logical arguments as to the nature of reality. But in the end, my essence doesn't know. My essence is a big question mark. It's mystery. It's unknown what I am, but yet I am everything. And that's not something that can be put into words. I'm putting it into words because of the because of intellectual training and that's what's happening now. Like nothing is creating Lisa speaking with these words about the subject. But in the end, I don't really know anything. There is just what's happening. Nobody knows anything. There's what's happening and then there's opinion and speculation. And that opinion and speculation might point you back to who you truly are, but that's all it ever is. It's words appearing in who you are. It's not actually talking about who you are, it can't. It appears and disappears in the nature of life, in your nature. So what we're always trying to grab hold of is the intellect and we think, oh, the intellect knows. The intellect's telling the truth, like I know something, I understand something. I'm sitting here, I'm listening to Lisa and I'm understanding non-duality and who I am is consciousness. Whereas actually that's all the intellect that's coming and going. The, the essence, your truth is deeper than that. Your truth is this moment. Your truth is here, now, free.
So everything that you think and feel isn't reality. Reality is right here. Like, it's not trying to say that, that those feelings aren't true for you now. So if you're feeling sad, that's what seems to be true for you now. But they're not truth. They're not actually describing what's happening. They're, they're, they're appearing in what's happening. Like the, the, there's something that comes and goes. Truth, reality, is only here, is only present. It's what you are. That's so wonderful. It's what you are. Right here, right now. So you've got your story of you. You think that you came into this room and you sat down and that you're going to leave this room. You think that you've got a life where you're existing in time where that's not the reality. Who you are is this moment. Right here, right now. Everything else is something that comes and goes and isn't truth. Truth is this. Truth is who you are. Truth is beyond concepts. Reality is beyond con concepts. It's this, it's here, it's present. Your problems arise when there's an identification with the person and then a belief in that person in time.
What happens when you identify with that person is that um, you lose your connection to who you truly are and you begin to suffer in time. And you begin to create this seeking momentum. That goes into time trying to get this moment, trying to get what you are in something. In thoughts, in feelings, in ideas, in events, in situations. And nothing's going to bring you what you are. You are what you are. And this is the freedom but in a way, it's like a detachment from this person, a detachment from all the beliefs about being that person, about what's right or wrong or good or bad or should or shouldn't be. And then it's surrendering into nobody acting, not a person acting, but life acting. Just now, right now. And trusting that life, whatever it decides to bring up and whatever it produces, trusting it to act out the perfect set of events, to crush the illusory you, to destroy your attachments to that. And so it's a disidentification from the person. That person is an appearance, is a happening, but not who you are. It's something that appears in you, but not you. You're not limited to it.
Okay. Do I take questions? <laughs>